critics of a juvenile justice bill believe putting children in detention centers does more harm than good. Nonetheless, legislation which includes new funding to rehab the Jefferson County facility was passed this afternoon by the bill. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff explains what the bill and some concerns about it. The bill sponsor, Louisville Republican Kevin Bratcher, says this is aimed at the most serious young offenders, children charged with things like carjackings and shootings. There's some issues and we need to address them so we can get these children's lives turned around. House Bill 3 would require anyone under age 18 who is charged with a violent felony offense to be held until they can see a judge. During that period, they would also be assessed for mental health or substance abuse treatment, as well as other services. They're obviously in um, a situation where uh, they're, they're involved in, in crime, in criminal activity, and, and uh, there's always an underlying cause. But some oppose mandatory detention or detaining children at all. Research consistently shows that detention has a profoundly negative effect um, on p young people's mental and physical well-being, their education, and their employment later in life. There is also opposition to a provision in the bill that makes juvenile records public in the case of violent felony offenses. After addressing the needs of these kids, that we're then penalizing them for their future. A new version of the bill, unveiled Tuesday, also increases funding for a renovation to reopen the Jefferson County Youth Detention Center from $8.9 million to $17.1 million. The bill now also proposes a $4.5 million renovation to keep the regional detention center in Linden open. That will keep low-level and serious offenders in separate facilities. And there is also $9.6 million to improve staff recruiting and retention. Right now, many young offenders from Louisville are taken to the Adair County Regional Detention Center. I re reserve my right to uh, change my opinion moving forward. Um, and I'm going to be a yes simply for one reason. I want to keep our kids in Jefferson County in Jefferson County. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.